We know that the traditional warm-up methods of walking on a treadmill or getting on an elliptical for an extended period of time and then stretching afterwards isn't sufficient to really warming up the body for what you're going to do while you're personal training. When you're personal training, we're going to have you increase your range of motion and move in multiple planes. And that's what our medicine ball warm-up is designed to do. This warm-up is designed to increase range of motion, loosen up muscles, and increase the elasticity of your tendons. This warm-up also has activations in it to offset the amount of sitting that you do all day long. We hope that you enjoy this warm-up. If you have any questions, please contact a personal trainer and they'll be happy to help you. Have a good workout! Our first movement is medicine ball large figure eights. To do this exercise correctly, the ball must travel outside your shoulders, over your head, through your belly button or chest, outside your knees, under your knees, and then return back to the top the same way. Make sure that you drop your hips to at or below knee height. Make sure to allow your knees to start to rotate side to side to prepare you for movements that you'll find yourself in in the gym. A good warm up weight will be between 2 and 8 pounds for most people. When you begin doing the rear delt stretch, make sure to hold it between 10 and 30 seconds. When doing the low pull across, make sure to allow your arm and shoulder blade to roll forward stretching out other parts of your back. Globe trotters are a fun exercise that warms up your biceps, shoulders, and your core. Notice that both of our coaches have the midsection moving back and forth preparing it for movements you're going to find yourself in in the gym. Make sure to go both directions so you become equally coordinated on both sides. This stretch can be done in a doorway or against any solid object if you desire. However, it is not necessary. As you retract your shoulder blades, you are activating muscles in your back, which is also very good for you. Make sure to keep your core muscles tight and drawn in. The squat, overhead press, and lean is a great exercise to start building core strength and stabilization. Get a nice deep squat where your hips are below your knees. Stand up, press your hands overhead, aligning your biceps with your ears, and then lean to a side, pressing your hips to the opposite side. Make sure to draw your core in the entire time that you're doing this, adding to your stabilization. This exercise can coordinate your hips, core, and shoulders to work together and stabilize your body. There are many different types of quad stretch. Charlie on the left is doing a kneeling double leg quad stretch. Brad is doing a one legged standing quad stretch. The one legged standing quad stretch requires more balance and stabilization. If you're doing the standing, make sure that both knees are pointing straight down to the ground. The wood chop can warm up the entire body. The medicine ball should start overhead and chop down through your legs. Your range of motion should be increased to where the medicine ball travels past your ankles and barely skims the ground. The diagonal chop 
is much like a tennis swing or a golf swing. Notice that both ankles and knees are rotating through the motion. Also notice that in, while going into the up position, the medicine ball travels back past the body, stretching the core out. When you're chopping down and up, the medicine ball travels with your arms almost straight through the belly button, and that the medicine ball travels past your shin and ankle in the down position. The first stretch is a hamstring straight back, straight leg stretch. Make sure to keep a nice lordotic curve in your lower back and allow your pelvis to tilt to stretch your hamstrings. The second exercise is a lower back stretch. So you would get into a semi squat, lock your hands behind your knees with your knees bent and then start to raise your hips. Only go with a range of motion that your hamstrings and lower back allow you to move with comfort. Hold your stretch for 10 to 30 seconds. This exercise warms up the knees, the ankles, and the hips, and warms up the lats and your core. If you're doing the reach back correctly with an upright body, you will also stretch out your iliopsoas complex and some of the quad muscles. These muscles get short and tight from sitting all day while driving and working. Only increase the range of motion when there's no pain and it's comfortable for you. The stretch that goes with this exercise is a half to third lunge, starting with your hands in front of you, reaching back overhead while you stare at your hands. Make sure to press your hips forward and down to get the best stretch and to reach your heel to the ground to stretch out your calf. The mountain climber is our last exercise in this warm up. Make sure to keep your feet moving and your core tight and stabilize your body. Your knees should be equal to or inside your elbows. You can have your hands on the ground or on the medicine ball for an added challenge. The figure four stretch is a great stretch for the glutes. You want to make sure that you are pulling your knee towards your shoulder, having them both meet above your thigh. Hold each stretch for 10 to 30 seconds.